Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be making this dual tilt out trash can, trash bin. It's got two 10.38 uh, gallon trash cans in it. I used one for trash, the other one for recycling. And the reason why I went with the 10.38 gallon is because the 12 and 13 gallon is just a little bit wider than a one by 12 piece of uh, pine. So let's get started. All right, so we need two two by, or I'm sorry, we need two one by 12s. I got the one select pine, so for my outside, it's it, there's no knots or anything like that, even though I'm gonna paint it. And then just a, uh, a cheaper one from Home Depot. It's got knots all in it, but it's gonna be hidden, so it doesn't much matter. So let's go ahead and get uh, marking out. Okay. I needed one more piece in there at 29 and a quarter. Huh. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not We're gonna go with the core screws since we're using pine. And like I said, an inch and a quarter, and then uh, three quarter material thickness. So we'll set the gauge up for three quarter. Basically, it's going to tilt out just like this on the shelf. Just like that, so there's enough room. Ten and a half gallon trash can from Home Depot is what I used. The other, the other trash cans were just a little bit wider than the 11 and, 11 and a half boards, so I didn't want to go any wider than those. Now let's get the... Get it all the way down. Yep.
All right, so my width is on the cabinet itself is 34 and a half. And I want to inch overhang on each side. And so we're going to go with 36 and a half on the length. And on the width, we're about 11 and a quarter. And again, I want to add an inch to that. So we're going to go with that. Cut that down. We're going to cut it lengthways first, and then we'll cut the width off. Who forgets to turn the vacuum cleaner on? Mm -hmm. I say, who forgets to turn the vacuum cleaner on? So the, uh, the way I have this one set up, the laser is my laser is my cut edge, mm -hmm. and my left is my good side. So you just have to line it up right there, mm -hmm. and then just make sure your fingers are clear, and pull the trigger. Go ahead. All right, so the project went pretty smooth. I, we've got it near completion. Let's see, I got uh, cabinet built, tilts built. I still have to uh, glue the panels in and, and uh, brad nail them. I just didn't have any three quarter brads. So I, I gotta get the brads put in. And then I need to get some hinges. The hinges I bought don't fit where they should. So I, I was trying to, trying to do a concealed hinge and I might end up having to go with an open hinge it just depends on what the hardware store has for me uh, if y'all have any questions let me know but this is the final product only recommendation recommendation I would say is to make sure everything is squared up because I have just just a, my the minor a minor gap we're gonna fix this <laughs> yes <laughs>
uh, but I really wasn't satisfied with how the backing was gonna look. I mean, it looked good this way. You know, you got a nice gap and everything, but when it was on the back side of the cabinet door, it was gonna have this lip hanging out and I was gonna brad nail it in. But since I have a table saw, what I had it did is did an inlay into the wood itself and set the plywood in the channel and this to me it looks so much better. And this is the back side and see how clean that looks. subscribe and uh hit that like button if you can you know anything counts I'm trying to recarpet this boat <laughs> <laughs>